Hi guys, good evening. Hi Wendy, good evening, Mr. Palma. Hello, how are you doing? Hi Jorge, good evening, how are you? Good evening, teacher. Very good. Hi, what about you? I hear kind of. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, actually, my voice is dying, so. <laughs> I'm sorry if I sound like my cousin. <laughs> but I have a vacation at, at, your, at your voice. I'm sorry? <laughs> vacation. Yeah. Vacation for voice, you. <laughs> yeah, my voice needs like a little vacation. <laughs> okay, but, but sometimes it is possible, sometimes it isn't. So I get better, I get better. The thing, guys, is that um, uh, como hablamos todo el día, because we speak all day long, you know, and we scream sometimes. So I believe that's why my voice is dying. <laughs> but I'm all right. It's not COVID, teacher. Um, no, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't believe so. Just I've been uh, putting a lot of effort with my voice. So I would say mm, that's pretty much it. And even if it is COVID, you know, it's like, <laughs> it's just a flu. So I got to keep positive too. Uh, yeah, actually, we have other symptoms. I don't, the thing is that I believe the symptoms change. So you don't have the same and uh -huh, I'm not sure, but, but hopefully no. Hopefully it's just the deepness of my voice and just, you know, the. Okay, the, be careful. Yeah, 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 I'm trying to. The good thing is that this class is online, so I'm not going to um uh what spread the virus. <laughs> <laughs> uh okay. So guys, thanks a lot for joining. Uh thank you for being here. Uh we got today session. Well, actually, we are missing only one, two, three. We are missing only three sessions. Today is number um 17. Um, so it is really nice, guys, um, that you are joining us, that you're here. I believe somebody was going to be in a meeting, but I don't remember who the person was. Hi, Susana. Good evening. Nelson, great to see you. Um, good evening. Hopefully the rest of the guys uh, join us. Um, mm -mm, guys, today we have, like, we got to practice a little bit part of the topic we um, kind of um, we were kind of stuck yesterday with gerunds, gerunds a subject, gerund after some birds, but also we have something very important that is connectors. So we are going to be working today on new connectors, how to use that, how to use all though, even though in spite of, um, despite of, I don't know if you are familiar with them, but if you're not, no worries. We'll go like super slowly. 
so you can make um, your ideas and your sentences the best way we can. Um, so uh, getting us out. Oh, and before I forget, something super important. Eh, guys, solamente hacerles el recordatorio de la plataforma, right? So it is important. Uh, que terminemos eh, the platform. Si todavía tienen problemas con algún ejercicio, let me know para que lo podamos revisar. Because eh, we finished on Monday, so la idea es que ya esté completa para que no se lleven ejercicios durante el fin de semana, right? Um, and you don't have to work a lot with, with those things. So with that being said, guys, let's get started. I have some questions for you. And I like to... <laughs> I like to listen to your opinion. Um, so take a look at question number one, guys. It says, what do you always avoid doing until the last minute? <laughs> so oh, number one, what is something you avoid doing, guys? Or we use the word procrastinate. So what is something that you procrastinate a lot? I start paying my bill. I wait until the last day that I need to pay my bills or the deadline um, is to pay my electricity bill. I have no idea why. <laughs> so I avoid doing that, not because um, I don't have the money, not because I don't know the day, but just because, you know. <laughs> Guys, what about you? What's something that you avoid doing? Do you avoid doing anything? Uh, that you say before, I, I, I always avoid that. But with the pandemic time, I, I learned to that to to do the the pace in the in the online. So that changed. Um, so I'm so sorry. What was it that you changed? Uh, the I, I said the same case that that you avoid do the pay the bills. Ah, uh, pay him. But you but, say that with the quarantine, it changed. Yes, because I I learned to to pay online that 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 bills. Oh, me too, but still. <laughs> um, so if today is the deadline, I wait until today to pay it. I have no idea why. <laughs> so you pay your bills online. I, I avoid, I avoid uh, the pay that bills when I have to, to go to the bank, for example. Ah, oh, that's important. Okay. Yeah, I'm waiting and waiting, being in the queue. Uh -huh. That's super stressful. Guys, what about the rest of you? What is something that you always avoid doing until the last minute? What is something that you procrastinate all the time? I usually uh, the pay bills or other things um, the same um, thing uh, has same limit or time or, or yes time limit no okay no procrastinate me you don't procrastinate no. I, I don't procrastinate and I have I have more more time I procrastinate I I said I I have time I okay. yes it is the problem and and last time but um I I make fast the the thing or is the problem? Mm, okay. Well, yeah. The thing with uh with bills is that normally if you don't pay them on time, 
you have like a sort of late uh, or lateness fee, right? So if it is like from some companies, you need to pay extra money. So it is not bad. Okay, but I'm super glad that it happens. And Nelson, do you avoid doing anything until the last minute? Hi, Olga, good evening. Uh, hi, Tatiana, thank you for joining. Good evening, teacher. Hi, Miss, how you doing? Uh, a little bit tired, but I'm okay. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. Um, so, Olga, is there anything that you avoid doing? That you wait, I don't know, you wait till the last minute? Oh, guys, taxes, I forgot it. So, taxes, right? Like your renta. <laughs> so, you're supposed to send it by April. Uh, do you delay it? Do you avoid doing it until the last minute? Yes, teacher. Sometimes the payment of their energy. <laughs> ah, okay. The bill, so electricity bill, yes. internet bill. Yeah, right. It's very common that we do. Um, almost the last minute. You know, I'm super happy with Evanka and with all the things that are online, because now sometimes it is nine or ten p.m. when we finish classes. And I suddenly realized, oh my God, I forgot to pay the bills. <laughs> I paid them like super late. But it's just because I normally, um, oh, okay. Teacher. Hi, Mr. Baye. Yes. Teacher, all, also, I avoid uh, go to the dentist until the last time if I can. <laughs> oh. Because of that. How often do you go to the dentist? Yes, actually, uh, go to the hospital. If I have to, to go, I try to avoid them. You go to the hospital. Uh, what is something that you avoid? Like going to a dental office? If I, if I had, uh, I don't know, a pain maybe. Uh -huh. I, uh, I prefer not to go to the hospital. I try to avoid. Ah, okay. So, but you wait until you have a pain in your tooth, until you have a toothache. Uh, yes, but uh, depends. If I have pain, then I, I go, but... Uh, uh, but usually I try to, to avoid that. I don't like the zzz. Ah, okay, the drilling sound. <laughs> <laughs> I yes. have braces. I have had braces for maybe 11 years. So that is a long time. So I need to go to the dentist every month. But <laughs> yeah, so it is, um, I cannot avoid it because I need to do it. <laughs> But I totally understand your feeling and you get used to the sound too. All right, guys, what about number two? What are some things that you enjoy doing? Is there anything that you enjoy doing every day or every week? Do you enjoy, enjoy doing some activities? I don't know, working, sending reports? <laughs> I I I enjoy yeah I I I enjoy enjoy mm -hmm. enjoy I enjoy um in weekend it's a it's a stay uh, stay staying with my family oh okay so you enjoy mm -hmm. staying with your family all right. Uh, yeah, also, um, I work, I work in, uh, uh, in the Saturday, uh, okay, in, so you work. in the morning, uh -huh, I work oh, nice. okay. Saturday in the morning at a park uh, Bicentenario, Bicentenario Park. Oh, that is really nice. That's a nice place to work. Okay. Do you ride a bicycle in Bicentenario too? Yes. Mm -hmm. That is really nice. So one of the <laughs> of the best places I think where we can go and walk. 
Okay, nice. Anybody else? Hi, Mr. Villada, good evening. Hi, Diana, thank you for joining. Um, I think I saw also Miss Nero, so thank you for joining. Hi, Miss. Already. Um, what about this one, guys, number three? Is there anything you have quit recently? So remember that quit is like a stop, something that you don't do anymore. Is there anything you have quit recently? I algo que dejaron de hacer. Is there anything you have quit recently? Nothing. My case for reports. <laughs> In your case, reports. Yeah, some some reports. Why? Because uh, change the platform. Ah, okay. So you don't do reports anymore. Yeah. No. No. Thank is you. Is that good or is that bad? It was very good because uh, it, some reports take me around thirty minutes, forty-five. <laughs> So, so it took it, you a lot of time. Yeah, it takes me a lot of time. Nice. So, I, I don't know. I don't like it. And okay. And some report was useful. So, yeah. Probably useless, como sin sentido, sin uso. That is correct. Mm -hmm. So useless. Ah, okay. Okay. Well, but it's amazing. So I'm I'm really happy to hear that. You don't have to spend a lot of time writing reports that probably nobody will read. That is the worst thing that can happen to us. Okay, okay, nice. And guys, what about number four? It says right there, what do you miss most about your childhood? Guys, what do you miss about your childhood? I miss that in my childhood, I didn't have responsibilities. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> what do you I miss, was, guys? I was thinking the same thing. So no responsibilities too? Yes. When my mom buy, buy me the estrenos. <laughs> ah, okay, for Christmas. We don't have a word to say estrenos, so just new clothes <laughs> or new outfit for Christmas. Ah, okay. And now you are the one who needs to buy the estreno. <laughs> yes. Guys, what do you miss about your childhood? La mudada. Uh -huh. We just can call it outfit. There is no word for estreno. <laughs> oh, la mudada. Okay. Guys, what do you miss? I, I miss playing with my, with my friends uh, all okay. the mm, Nice. Okay. I mean, you know, when I was a, a little girl, I used to watch um, after the school, I didn't have responsibilities, obviously. So I, when I got back to my house, I used to play Power Rangers <laughs> and I used to play Heracles. So I really miss watching those um, TV programs, right? So they, they are not, oh, and the Renegade. Do you remember the Renegade? They are no longer, you know, on television or in broadcast. Did you watch the Renegade guys or Highlander or Eracle or those programs? Did you the like Renegade, them? Yes, it was good. Did you watch them? Yes, and Highlander too. Oh, okay. Wait, but you were what, like 15 years old? Mm. Or a little older? Maybe, or younger? Maybe like... Uh, oh, with Renegade and uh, was Viper, um, a helicopter too. But Viper, remind me please, Viper was the car, correct? Was, I don't remember very much. Viper was the car, uh, ultimate car, launch missile, or something like that. Ah, and it was like a smart car, right? Yeah, I uh, and what is the uh, other TV program that you mentioned? Was uh, in Spanish, was for the area. It was about a helicopter. Uh, wasn't it Lobo del Aire? Yeah. 
Oh, okay, okay, okay. Wow, those are really old. <laughs> okay, so we mean what is too? Oh, I am not sure if the correct pronunciation is MacGyver or MacGyver because uh, like some years ago, there is um there is like a remake, right? Yes. So they um uh -huh, they invented or they created this new version, and that is a, a remake. But in the new one, it's called MacGyver, and in the old one, it was MacGyver. So I'm like still confused whether it is MacGyver or MacGyver. But that was really nice. <laughs> that was good, yeah. guys. What about the rest of you? What do you miss? Is there anything that you missed about your childhood? So we missed TV programs. Uh, we missed not having responsibilities. Anything else? Wendy, what do you miss? My grandma um, used to watch The Renegade. Your grandma? Yes. Oh my God, I feel so old now. <laughs> because I used to watch the renegade when I went back to um from classes, you know, when I went back to when I went back home. So renegade Highlander, and there was another but I can't call. Oh, um Kung Fu, the legend the legend continues. Do you remember that one? No. I remember. Really. I remember Sankukai. Sankukai. What was that? I see Wendy laughing. What happened, Wendy? Tell what us. Is that? What memory? What, what memory comes to your mind? <laughs> what is that? What is that? <laughs> I thought you were going to say Cobra Kai, but what is that? Uh, it's an old TV program, but but was was good in that moment. I remember. Uh, what was it about? about it's about uh, Chinese people. Uh, they they always were traveling in your special special. How do you say nave? Nave a spaceship. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. And a fight with a. With the uh, opponents, I don't remember about why, but but I remember they they are always trying to save the the planet. Uh, what was the name again? San Kukai. San Kukai, guys, uh, do you remember that program? Did you watch it? Did anybody watch it? In my case, no, teacher. <laughs> okay, let me check. Do you remember the channel or what time it was playing? I, I, I'm looking in the Google. Oh, okay. And, and there are many videos and information about. Let me Thank check in the area. Because as you may understand. Uh, um we only had channels from 2 to 12. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't have cable or satellite um tv so okay mm -hmm. thank you okay so yeah. unfortunately we are unable to talk about oh no this module is not about tv programs but i'm i'm really sure it would be really cool to talk about them if you yeah. got the information share that with us so tell us what it was about um, so guys, uh, if you take a look, most of the birds we have here are using gerunds. Yesterday we checked um, this topic that some birds need gerunds. So we have, for example, avoid doing, enjoy doing, quit, quit doing, or miss. So after miss, we are going to also use a gerund. For example, I miss not having responsibilities. I miss watching a TV program. So I miss going. Okay. Let me see. Sankukai. No, I have never seen it. I remember is is in the same thing that Capitan Cavernicola. Capitan. Wow. Okay. No, I don't remember. Capitan Cavernicola. I saw it when I was a little older. So. 
But this looks very similar to Power Rangers, right? Yes, it's kind of similar. You said it was Chinese, Korean. I think it's Korean, right? Japanese. I, I Japanese. Ah, yes, yes, yes. You're right. The spelling looks like Japanese. Okay. Oh, okay. Interesting. Was, I think it was Hanna Barbera. Yes. Hanna Barbera was? I'm sorry, Mr. Villada. Was the product? The producer. The producer. Uh-huh. Yes. Anna Barbera. Okay. Is the same that the Flintstones. The producer. Ah. Oh. Oh, okay. I had never seen this one. You know, uh, not even uh, in the reviews for all programs. I'm gonna watch it. I'm gonna look for it. I am pretty sure um, we can find it now on the internet. Well, you can find it almost everything on the internet. Mm -hmm. All right, nice, Senkukai. The name, just the name is kind of strange, I have to say. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it is not very common. All right, um, guys, uh, yesterday before finishing classes, um, we were working with this exercise. And I asked you to write a couple of examples using errors. I don't know if you were able to do so. If you were, no worries, because um, we can always, you know, create our own examples. Um, so we said, for example, that after like, after birth, enjoy, dream of, interested in, good at, crazy about, help, imagine, and give up, we are going to use ING or general to talk about those activities, for example. If I want to say, oh, quiero dejar de fumar, uh, so dejar de fumar, we can use the expression give up, like number 10, and you, we can say like a recommendation, deberías dejar de fumar, you should give up smoking, pero también puedo hablar de mí, like I want to give up smoking. So give up, y luego ING, representa algo que quiero dejar de hacer, right? Uh, for example, uh, we have give up. Uh, quiero dejar de levantarme o de llegar tarde al trabajo. <laughs> I want to um, give up, you know, um, rolling in bed for 10 more minutes. So give up is like stop or finish doing one activity. Um, were you able to make your sentences? ¿Pudieron terminarlos ayer? Were you able to finish them yesterday? Uh, not really. And suddenly, escucho un silencio sepulcral. <laughs> okay, guys, no worries, no worries. Um, I'll give you some time um, so you can finish writing your examples in case you were not able to do so yesterday, okay? Um, so, again, we can use these verbs, más I and G, para hablar de actividades. So, she likes, I can say I like. I like painting, I like drawing. I can bear, no soporto, no tolero. So I can bear listening to reggaeton at four in the morning. I can bear um, listening to cats fight over my house, for example, or over my roof. So I can bear, it's like no soporto, no tolero, I don't like. Um, he enjoys, I enjoy, I dream of, so, tengo sueños, o este es mi sueño, right? I dream of, yesterday veíamos la palabra será, que será pues iniciar algo. So, um, Leila dreams of setting up her own business, pero yo puedo decir, eh, quiero iniciar mi negocio. I want to set up my own business. He is interested in, so también podemos agregar, estoy interesado en, I am interested in, um, moving to another country, making more money, um, finishing my career, finishing my MBA, etc. Um, I can help. Guys, I recuerda que I can help. No, es no puedo ayudar. El cambio un poquito. I can help. ¿Alguien lo recuerda? Or leamos el mm, Okay. Um, it says here, I can help laughing when I watch Mr. Bean. So, ¿alguna idea qué significa I can help? Like I can remember, I can let to. Mm, mm, kinda, uh -huh. so I can help is like 
no puedo evitar, no puedo dejar de, bastante similar a give up, pero en el sentido de avoid. So, I can't help laughing, no es posible, no me es posible dejar de reír. So, I can't help, if I say, I can't help falling in love. Ah, no puedo evitar enamorarme. I can't help eh, getting late to work. So, no puedo evitar, right? Eh, llegar tarde siempre al trabajo. So, uh, guys, escojan algunas, las probablemente las que sean nuevas for you. Estoy segura que like no es nuevo. But select that out, the ones that are new for you. Y vamos a crear un ejemplo, right? Make a sentence. El, tenemos cinco minutitos, guys. We got five minutes. Three more minutes, guys. Uh, it's only an example, right? With the new words or the new expressions.
Okay, guys, so do you have a couple of examples already? Do you have some? I have one teacher, but okay. I'm not here. Mm, say it and we check, no worries. I deserve traveling to Qatar and watch a play of the World Cup. <laughs> so I deserve traveling to, uh, to Qatar and? Watch a play of the World Cup. Okay, so I just started traveling. <laughs> okay, sounds nice. <laughs> I like that example. Okay, uh, guys, do you have other examples for us? In the meantime, I can teacher, help. Mm -hmm. could you please uh, explain about the structure of, of these gerunds? Of gerunds. The gerunds can mm -hmm. be in the in the start of the sentence at the at the middle or at okay. the end. Mm -hmm. um, it doesn't matter. Or... No, it doesn't matter. So normally gerunds, uh, they can be in different positions. Give me one second. Let me just share my screen. <clears throat> Okay, give me one sec. Okay, so um, gerunds can have different positions. Yesterday we saw briefly um, that we can use ing a subject. So it is very common that if we are talking about an activity, we are going to use it with ing at the beginning. For example, quiero hablar de tomar café, let's say. So I have drink coffee. Pero um, tomar café no puedo dejarlo solo como drink. So lo que hago, what I normally do, es agregarle ing y hacerle drinking coffee. Ahora sí puedo hablar de esta actividad. So, for example, I can say drinking coffee, mm, mancha los dientes, right? So, algo que ya, ya, you know, out of experience, I mentioned. So, drinking coffee, I have stains your dead. All right. And so, estoy hablando ya de esta actividad. So, my subject in the sentence is drinking coffee. So, you don't eat, right? And como es um, uh, drinking coffee, se considera eat. Voy a utilizarlo siempre como tercera persona. So drinking coffee stains your teeth. Imagine that we say, for example, traveling to Qatar. So we can talk about that. So traveling to Qatar. Uh, guys, um, what is, can you help me complete this sentence or the idea? So traveling to Qatar. I can say, for example, sería mi sueño cumplido, would be my dream. Come true. Come true. Okay. So traveling to Qatar would be my dream come true. And so, no estoy hablando de personas, but I'm talking about these activities. Traveling to Qatar, drinking coffee. This is just number one of Jaros. Um, are we okay with this? Teacher, it could be, for example, swimming. Swimming will be mm -hmm. my favorite sport. Yes, so swimming. I'm sorry, guys. Um, if my voice is breaking a little, so swimming uh, is or would be. So swimming is my favorite, my favorite sport. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So um, here I'm not talking about a person again, but I'm talking about this activity. This is going to be the subject of my sentence. So whenever you want to talk about an activity, um, normalmente si es un verbo, we are going to include or we are going to add ing to that verb. I say, for example, um, imprimir los reportes sale muy caro. So how can we say imprimir los reportes? Printing the reports. Mm -hmm, exactly. So I know that imprimir is print. 
So the only thing that I need to add then in that case is print and then ing. So printing the reports would be, or is, or was, would be very expensive. So again, um, ing here, no es presente continuo. This is not present continuous. This is not past continuous. But le llamamos gerundio. We call it ing or gerund porque tiene una función diferente a continuous tense. Estamos hablando de una actividad, no de un verbo. Guys, no sé si se comprende esa parte porque puede ser un poquito confusa que swimming siempre le hemos usado como estoy escuchando Cuando. música, I'm listening to music, estoy hablando, I am speaking. Pero acá speaking, listening, ya no funcionan como verbos. They are not verbs anymore, but they are activities. Por ejemplo, I can say listening to music, listening to music, Guys, can you tell me about the benefits of listening to music? For example, listening to music. Change your mind. Ah, okay. So, again, como listening to music es ahora una actividad, la voy a considerar siempre tercera persona. So, vamos a agregarle conjugación de tercera persona. Listening to music changes your mind. Or listening to music, relaja la mente. So listening to music, eases your mind, right? Or listening to music um, is beneficial, so it's beneficial. So again, uh, this ing ya no es un verbo, but it is an activity. ¿Estamos bien ahí? Are we okay that, that way? Okay, let's, let's try to complete some exercises, you know, just to make sure we get this. Y luego revisamos el segundo uso que es después de algunos verbos. Um, Gerons and infinitives eh, siempre se confunden, let's say, but um, esos son para hablar de actividades, right? Uh, Ima okay. Imagine I say going to work. Dígame, um, tell me. In, in that case, uh, listening could be like to listen. It is possible. Um, sometimes eh, hay algo que se llama eh, gerund infinitive en el que drinking coffee is your teeth. Lo puedo cambiar por en vez de drinking. Lo puedo cambiar por to drink coffee. Um, to drink coffee. Y es lo mismo. To drink coffee stains your teeth. Drinking your coffee stains your teeth. Mm -hmm. But I have to be super honest. Esto, el de to. Sí se puede, pero no es común. El más común es utilizar ing como sujeto. Pero sí, sí se puede. We can do that. So, uh, let me just give you some prompts. Okay, let me give you some prompts and you help me with the sentences. They cannot wait. No, 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 no. Stay in up late. Okay. Okay, guys. So we have uh, four different prompts here. Going to work. Again, no estamos diciendo que yo voy a trabajar. No. Estamos diciendo going to work como ir a trabajar. So, ¿qué pueden decir de ir a trabajar? Studying abroad. No digo que estoy estudiando en el extranjero. Digo estudiar en el extranjero. ¿Qué podemos decir de esa actividad? Sitting for so long, so sentar o estar sentado por mucho tiempo, ¿cómo lo podemos completar? How can you complete it? Y la última, stay up late or stay in up late. Guys, do you know the meaning of stay up late? Llegar tarde. No. Um, actually, staying up late es como um, desvelarse o quedarse dormido hasta muy tarde. So, stay up late. So, si utilizamos um, staying up late, ¿qué podemos decir de desvelarse? I can say, for example, ir al trabajo o ir a trabajar, pues me da dinero. <laughs> so, ¿Cómo lo completaría? How would you complete all of these ideas, guys? It's necessary to... <laughs> no ideas come out. To be a better future. <laughs> okay, so going to work 
every day, on time. Uh, it's necessary to have a better future. Going to work, um, I don't know, it's necessary to earn money um, to get by and to pay your bills. So podemos dar cualquier idea. Pero estamos hablando de esta actividad, right? We're talking about these activities. Uh, so guys, I'll give you some minutes eh, para que las puedan completar. Remember, si utilizo un verbo, um, este verbo, si es presente, debe de ir um, con tercera persona o como tercera persona. For example, estudiar en el extranjero te ayuda a tener mejores condiciones de vida. How do you say te ayuda? So, studying abroad, tengo el verbo help, pero esto es como un it. Entonces, voy a cambiarlo. So, helps, pero yo también lo puedo hacer en futuro. Studying abroad will help you. Y no hay ningún problema. We can still use it. También lo puedo utilizar en el pasado. Studying abroad was, was dangerous. Uh -huh. Was dangerous a long time ago because of scamming and kidnappings. So puedo utilizarlo presente, pasado, futuro, sin ningún problema. So cause este no es un verbo. Es una actividad in this scenario. Okay, guys. So I'll give you like two minutes eh, para que puedan completar eso de acá. Con cualquier idea que se les ocurra. Any idea that comes to your mind?
Um, are you ready, guys? Is everybody ready? Do you have some examples for that one? Uh, guys, what do you have for the first? So going to work, how do you, oh, how did you complete it? Uh, teacher, I have going to work is important because it, it is what men needs to survive. <laughs> okay. Yes. <laughs> Anyways. Okay. Uh, what about the rest? Uh, guys, going to work, do you have something else, something different? Going to work every day makes me feel proud. Oh, okay. So going to work every day makes me feel proud. Nice. Anything else? Maybe um, yes. Studying abroad gives you better chance. Oh, studying abroad gives you better chances, better opportunities. Okay, nice. Anything else, guys? Teacher studying abroad. Mm -hmm. Studying abroad is an opportunity to meet new people. Ah, oh, very nice. Okay. So studying abroad is an opportunity to meet new people. Okay. 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 Nice. Okay. Any other? Guys, what about sitting for so long? Like, estar sentado por mucho tiempo, right? So, sitting for so long. It, My it, back is hurt. Yeah. <laughs> mm, okay, so sitting for so long. So, necesitamos siempre un verbo. So, uh, sitting for so long makes my back hurt. Okay, podemos utilizar makes. Nice, nice. ¿Qué más, guys? Uh, um, yes. Sitting for so long in the mall is stressful to me. Okay, sitting for so long in the mall is stressful. Okay, okay, okay. Yes. No, but sitting for so long in your house too. <laughs> it is really stressful. Okay, any other guys? Maybe staying up too late is making you less productive ah okay so staying up late makes you less productive interesting guys do you agree i agree teacher okay you agree too guys any other staying up late mm -hmm. do you have something different staying up late is the reason because I arrive late to my work. <laughs> okay, so staying up late is the, the reason why you get late. <laughs> okay. Oh, I would say like playing video games or something. <laughs> okay, nice, nice. So that is like just number one, right? Again, going, studying, sitting, and staying. No, some verbs. They are not verbs. Not in this scenario, so not anymore. Um, now, guess, give me just a second. Um, we got to work a little bit in your material. Just a moment. Mm -mm. Okay, there we go. Okay, guys, so um, I have here a couple of examples, some more examples. So um, now, ¿cuál es el segundo uso de gerund? ¿Puedo utilizar? No, no, no es que pueda, es que debo utilizar. I need to use gerunds después de algunos verbos, cuando hablemos de actividades. Por ejemplo, how often do you avoid talking about your dreams? So, avoid talking. Um, that means que después de avoid, yo voy a utilizar ing. Eh, evito, por ejemplo, caminar en la noche. I avoid walking at night. Eh, evito comer mucho. I avoid eating a lot. ¿Qué más evitan, guys? What do you avoid? Look at this. Do you sometimes avoid reading WhatsApp messages? Uh, evito responderle a mi jefa. <laughs> I avoid replying to my boss. Guys, ¿qué evitan? What is something that you avoid doing? 
Avoid staying up late. I avoid staying up late. So evito quedarme esta tarde. ¿Qué más? What else? Teacher, I yes. avoid to go out at night if I had to work the next ah, day. <laughs> okay, so I avoid going out uh, at night, all right? Then we have, for example, complain. Complain siempre va acompañado de about, como yo me quejo de esto. Look at the examples. Do your parents complain about working too much? How often do you complain about doing a lot of homework? So complain about... Cuando tenemos una preposición como about, eh, vamos a utilizar ing, that is mandatory. Si se fijan en el ejemplo anterior, teníamos, teníamos yo sueño sobre, I dream of. So después de of, ing. We have, for example, estoy interesada en, I am interested in. So después siempre va ing. I complain about, yo me quejo de, um, so I complain about working, complain about doing. Otro verbo que necesita ING es risk. Would you risk walking along in the forest at night? Would you risk running in a marathon? Would you risk eating spiders? <laughs> and it's like. Um, algunos verbos son bien permisibles y permiten to o permiten ING. Dislike es uno de los que permiten a veces uh, to, pero el más común es ING. Do you dislike cleaning? Do you dislike studying? Do you dislike reading? Tenemos worry about, que es el mismo ejemplo de prepositions. Do you worry about getting old? Guys, ¿les preocupa envejecer? Do you worry about getting old? Do you worry about <laughs> failing exams or tests? Do you worry about gaining weight? ¿Les preocupa ganar peso? Um, uh -huh. Do you imagine becoming a, a big boss? So, después de imagine, si me imagino, por ejemplo, me imagino convertirme en alguien importante. So, I imagine becoming someone important. Siempre necesito el ING. Do you imagine living in another country? Do you imagine having a Lambo? Or a Lamborghini, right? So, guys, vamos a discutir esas preguntas. We're going to talk about the questions. Um, yo se las comparto, no worries. Um, we're going to make just two loops. Eh, para que podamos, <coughs> sorry, um, toca a little bit about it. Hi, Claudia, good evening. Hi, Cristia, thanks for joining. Hello. Uh, okay. Hi, Norma. Hi, Susana. Okay. Hi, teacher. Hello. Okay, guys, so, uh, les voy a invitar a que vayamos uh, al grupo. And, uh, les voy a compartir la pantalla. I'm going to share my screen para que sea más fácil. Eh, no necesiten um, compartirla o share that. Eh, Ariela, Diana, Jorge, Tatiana, Wendy, se quedan por acá. Stay here. Guys, los demás vamos al grupo. Please go to the group. Discuten esas preguntas. Discuss the questions. Tenemos um, like 10 minutes, right? So, pueden dar, like, long answers. No se preocupen mucho en eh, si voy a utilizar gerundios or not. Solo intenta responderlos. Just try to answer them. Si alguien tiene problemas con el internet, let me know para que se quede acá, right? Guys, vamos al grupo, please. Go to your group. Go to the group. Um, so, los demás, guys, eh, voy a apagar mi micrófono un momento para que ustedes puedan practicar and uh, you can answer the questions, give opinions and everything. So, there you go. Okay. Hello. 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 Hello, Jorge. Hello. Hello, everybody. What about a boy? Do you I'm open a boy talking about? You dream. Do you something about reading or something like that? Mm, mm. I'm not sure, but I consider most of the people avoid talking about your, their dreams. Avoid talking about. What about yours? What do you say, Tatiana? 
What do you what? Do you often avoid talking about your dreams? Ah, sometimes. I think because we feel we can't reach the dreams, I think that's why we we avoid talk about it. Or you scared about people can laugh about their your dreams? I have that opinion that some people avoid talking about their dreams because of the people getting like Life funny, about, funny about what are they're talking about. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Sounds good. What about somebody else? Okay. Uh, uh, I what the answer. I I often about talking no. I about talking no. Ay no, no sé cómo se pero cómo sería la respuesta. You're doing okay. I you can start with I I like to to talk about my dreams. Uh, I like talk about my dream. Yes, I I often I often talk. Do you share your, dreams. your dreams with the people? Yes, my dreams are common. Um, travel with other countries, uh, married, I have a baby. Mm, that's me. Okay. Normal. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sounds good. Uh, the second one, do you do you something about do you do you sometimes about reading WhatsApp messages? Yes. <laughs> if if some if somebody write or send a message or WhatsApp to you is is for something. Yes, but I avoid the word WhatsApp group. <laughs> That's okay <laughs> because they are they are out of time or the the time for work. Maybe if they're an emergency you can answer. Or respect, or yes. respect. Sometimes happen that you just uh, see the name and and you say, ah, this person. Ah. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's something boring. <laughs> yes, maybe a client. Yes. Maybe it's just for complain about something. Yes, it's true. What about okay. you, Wendy? What do you think about? Uh, something about reading, reading WhatsApp message. Yes. yes. Do you avoid reading WhatsApp messages? Mm. Boy? Could be a, could be a client. Boy? Yes. Uh, in my case, all, all time, <laughs> reading <laughs> <with> some message, <laughs> talking or send, send message, uh, talking or, or write to, right. to right. form. Or respond. Right. Yes, or respond. Right. Respond. And respond fast. <laughs> or client, client. Um, Henry, no, and no heart there. Sorry, anger, anger, the customer anger because I don't 
Yes. Okay. The next one is complain about, complain about do you do do your parents complain about working too much? Uh, in my case, no, because they don't work anymore, but uh, I consider most of the, the parents could be usually complain about, about work uh, a lot. Actually, I can do complain about what about uh, Diana is uh, the, the first question do your parents complain about working too much my mom used to complain about working too much because she doesn't like to uh, wake up early. Mm, okay. It's true. Yes, it's true. The most of the people doesn't like to to wake up early. Even yeah. I don't like. But it's necessary. Because, okay, yes, if I... with the traffic. And and because the the long distance that you have to to go depends of the case. No? What about Manuel Antonio, Maria Ceron, Tatiana? If I want to say, for example, my mom doesn't complain about I work too much. <laughs> doesn't complain? No, work. she doesn't complain. Just sometimes, uh -huh. sometimes when I have to work on holidays, but uh, in other case, she never say anything about it. Is because she likes to, to do that work. Yes, I think is. She, I don't know. She never say things she like that. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, in my case, actually, I complain about wake up. Every, uh, have to to go far from my house. Uh, there are many things that I about the weather, the living there in a, in a pueblo. In the in the town in the town, mm -hmm. but a little town. Okay. But life, life is life. <laughs> the next one is risk. Would you risk walking alone in the forest at night? No. Yes, definitely. No. <laughs> I no. will be scared if I have to do that. Yes. Maybe in a in a difficult situation where your life depends on getting out of the force, maybe. You can do that. But, but it's dangerous. Yes. You can die if a, a, a bear. bear. A bear 
uh, is near to you? Yes. I saw so many movies that the person movie. is walking alone <laughs> in a forest. <laughs> so it doesn't seem um they same. always dying, die. <laughs> the girl that chi Chinese girl <laughs> lost in the forest. <laughs> <laughs> La chinita. Yes. The Chinese girl died. The second one, would you risk running a marathon? Uh, in my case, uh, I I participate. I I am running, so I participate in in a lot of marathon. So it's amazing. So I consider it's not a risk. So only you have to you have to to, to, prepare. to, to prepare to make a entreno. How do you say entreno? Training. Uh, training. 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 To be prepared for that, the, that distance because it's about 42 kilometers. Oh, it's a long distance. Actually, the Sunday, this, this Sunday, I run 25 kilometers in the, in the Puerto de la Libertad. You are going to run on Sunday. Yes. Wow, amazing. Too much. It's, it's not too much, but but I I had a pain in my my rodilla neck no rodilla. The knee. The knee. The knee. The knee. Yes. That was the problem I consider was okay. Two and a half hours. Uh, the number three, will you risk eating virus? No, I, I don't think so. Where is the number three? Would you risk eating spiders? Um, no. <laughs> Only yeah, Mexicans do that. People, Chinese people could be could be possible to do, do that. Yes, Chinese people eat all things. <laughs> they, they could say that's protein. Yeah. That's protein. Nah. Mm -hmm. In in China, they they eat rat. They or eat more. whatever. Yes. Wow! Incredible. <laughs> Okay. The next one is dislike. Do you dislike cleaning your room? Mm, no, I enjoy it. <laughs> I dislike. <laughs> I prefer sleep. I agree with you. It's boring. I feel like cleaning cleaning a room is like therapeutic. <laughs> in my case, in my case, um, um, como se llama? Like waste of, of time. Yeah, uh, give, 
Okay. He, I need more time for cleaning my room. More time. Because it's a big room or why? No. So much, many things. <laughs> many, many things. I order, I cleaning, 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 cleaning. It's impossible. Finish. <laughs> Imagine if you have to clean all the house, it's a big problem. Big problem for me. Many things. <laughs> Trying to, to maintain clean a house is really difficult. Yes. For me, yes. Yes, it's hard. Yes. But the next one, do you dislike studying? No. no. I like. It's therapeutic. Do you study today? <laughs> I I like study actually. Uh, also, Jorge, we have we have been a partner since I think April, right? Do you remember when we start? Yes, I remember. I start in, in yes April. April. Yes. Intermedia two. I, yes. I okay. So you have been together for this long. Hi guys. <laughs> so you, you have been together for all this time. Yes. Since four April. <laughs> but this year or last year? This year, teacher. Ah, okay, this yeah. year. Yes. And Olga too, I think, and so and Silvia Suleima. We have been together since April? intermediate two. Ah. Ah, but, well, but you've been together for about like uh, four modules, right? Yes, four modules. Ah, okay. Um, is there any anybody has been? I don't know. Guys, uh, what about have you been here from uh, basic or something like that? Yes, I I study in 2020, 2021, I think. Last year. Mm, yes, I think so. Okay. And I was in okay, so say that. another one. I don't remember which one. Okay, and then you join these guys. Yes, mm. but they me bajaron de nivel. <laughs> Why? I don't there was know. no module. I don't know why. Yo creí que eh, cuando tú agarrabas el, el ciclo, no sé, el curso, uh, tú podías comenzar desde donde te habías quedado, pero resulta que no. Um, it depends. It depends how long has uh, passed. Mm -hmm. um, if it is um, less than six months, yes. Um, you can um, you can okay. stay in the same level because it means that uh, your practice is kind of fresh, yeah. And you still remember how to communicate when okay. it, you stop a module for more than six months. Our brain or our memory, uh, if you don't practice every day, we tend to forget. So that is why probably. Um, so you didn't study English for I don't know more than six probably. Yes. That is why maybe you were changed to um, a lower module. But it was not because of the performance, but it was just because of the practice, I have to say. Because uh, uh, probably in six months, you have not practiced, or you didn't practice back in those days. Mm -hmm. Yes. Ah, okay. I, I started oh, before okay. in 2007, maybe. <clears throat> 2007. But you have been practicing English. No. <laughs> I... <laughs> I I have I stay without the English like 
for five years for 10 years maybe 10 years wow but then you cut um you cut up really fast uh, so nice okay so you you kept the pace you know interesting really interesting okay guys um so coming back here thank you so much for checking this now i'm sorry i'm going to kind of bore you a little bit um but we got some grammar to work on <laughs> and this topic um it's not difficult but it's kind of confusing because it's related to um the uh use Give me one second. The use of connectors. Now, in your material, guys, in your book, we have uh, on page numbered, page number 36. Is, yeah, page number 36. You have like a little conversation right there. So give me a moment. Let me present it. Um, mm -mm. Okay, there you go. So we have this little conversation and uh, we have over there, it says, read the conversation and circle the examples of employee recognition strategy. This unit is about motivation, recognition and everything. Um, and we have Mark and we have Jillian. So guys, can you help me read it, please? Uh, thank you, Jorge. So can you help me with Mark? And I can ask you today, who haven't I heard? Um, um, Sylvia, are you with us? Mr. Palma, I think he's not here. Um, yes, hi, hi, Miss. Can you be so kind to help us with Jillian, please? Oh, I'm sorry, Claudia, I didn't see your hand up. Okay, so um, Jorge, help us with Mark, and uh, Sylvia, help us with, with Jillian, please. Okay. My employees are not as motivated as I would like, although the, the company invested a lot in motivational development, employees continue to lack enthusiasm. I know, I know what you mean. You see, there are some things that could improve here at At the company? We lost, maybe. Mm, we lost. Yes, I think so. I think Sylvia's internet cracked. Um, Sylvia? The are company you here? in regard oh. to while re rewarding employees with extra bonus is all right. Re I don't know Sylvia? if she finished. Sylvia? No, I think it's just the internet. Uh, Sylvia, can you can you listen to Sorry, us? Sorry, teacher, my my connection is mal. Ah, okay. No, no worries, no worries. That is okay. Um, okay. Cloud, uh, if you feel okay, uh, Claudia can continue. That is all right, no problem. Thank you so much, though. Um, okay. Claudia, can you help us please in the part of uh, rewarding? Okay, rewarding them with longer paid vacations could improve their performance. I guess you are right. I believe we may need some something more intrinsic, 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 even, mm -hmm. intrinsic, even though motivating our employees through the employee of the month of our work for a couple of months, motivating through pair to pair stories of success may have a more meaningful impact. Mm, all through peer to peer recognition sounds like a good plan. Implementing it along them, the mission and goals of the company will be a great improvement. I would like to see employees being rewarded on the basis of teamwork and innovation goals. Okay, thank you so much guys. Very nice pronunciation. So I just want to call your attention um, to these words that are involved. So we have although, uh, we have while, we have even though, and uh, we have more, but they are not here. <laughs> so, 
So first, uh, let's get familiar with the meaning of them, how to use them, and then we're going to make some examples. So take a look at the example we have right here. Um, and give me one sec, let me make sure that you can see. Yeah, you can see my screen. Okay, so. Yeah. Okay, take a look at this one. It says it rained. We have two sentences. It rained, that is sentence number one. And number two, they sit under the rain. Look at the sentence below. Although it rained, they sit under the rain or they sat under the rain. So um, what does, why are we using although? What do you think? What is the idea of although in here? A pesar que. Mm -hmm. Exactly, exactly. So although me ayuda para hablar de contrastes, right? So I can use or I can express opposite ideas using although. So a pesar que, exactly, although it rain, they sit or they sat under the rain. So a pesar que esto sucedió, ellos aún lo hicieron. So we are talking about two different ideas, contrasting ideas, and we normally join them uh, using although. So although eh, es como un but. So pretty much that is the idea. It rained, but they sit under under the rain. So but is un conector básico. Oldo es un conector intermedio avanzado. Pretty much esa es la diferencia entre ellos, right? Solamente eh, el uso similar a but porque hablamos de contrastes. Hay ideas diferentes. Look at the following example um, here. Give me one sec. So this we got this one. The same, the same meaning. Mm, kind of, pero se usa un poquito diferente. So we have despite and in spite of. Um, se parece, pero hay una pequeña diferencia con ellos. Ya vamos a ver cuál es. Um, here you have uncle uh, very mess is very rich. And look at this. Tengo una segunda oración. He does not give money to anybody. So we can make two sentences. Y acá viene la oración that you mentioned. So although uh, the uncle is very rich, comma. So siempre que utilizo although al inicio, I'm going to use a comma right there. So a pesar que, although the uncle is very rich, he doesn't give his money to anybody. ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre although and in spite of? Look at the second sentence. In spite of, uh, he's rich. In spite of his wealth, in spite of him being rich, he doesn't help the poor. So, ¿cuál es la diferencia en uso? Although, necesito una oración completa, I need two full sentences. Although, sujeto, verbo, complemento, uncle is very rich. Y luego sujeto, verbo, complemento. He doesn't give his money to anybody. Cuando utilizamos in spite of, es bastante similar, very similar, pero no utilizo una oración completa. So in spite of his rich, in spite of his money, in spite of his wealth, he doesn't help the poor. Solo es una oración y luego in spite of necesito algo más. Pero no es una oración completa. Pero sí el significado es el mismo. The idea is exactly the same. Look at this. Um, imagine that I say, oh, I'm doing exercise, pero me duele la pierna. So my leg hurts. I can say. Although he had pain in his leg or in the leg, he finished the marathon. So, ¿cuál es el contraste here? Sí le dolía la pierna, pero sí terminó la maratón. So, he finished the marathon. Although, es bastante mm, común que se ponga al inicio, pero si va al inicio, necesito por propósitos de gramática poner una coma in the middle. Si although va en medio, la coma ya no se, no, no se necesita. Ya vamos a ver cómo cambiar el orden. Eh, no, pero yo también puedo decir, in spite of his pain in his leg, he finished the marathon. ¿Qué fue lo que cambió? Although, tengo una oración completa con although. Subject, verb, complement. Pero in spite of, mm -mm, ya no es una oración completa, solo eh, información de la actividad o información adicional. A pesar del dolor de pierna, in spite of his pain in the leg, in spite of his pain, in spite of his leg, no necesito una oración. 
He finished the marathon. Pero igual necesito una coma para dividir. Um, now, um, in spite of, no vamos a cambiar orden, pero con el 2 sí podemos cambiar el, el orden. Um, ¿Cómo lo cambiarían, guys? ¿Se recuerdan cómo cambiar orden um, de algunos eh, connectors? I'm not sure, teacher. Mm, say it, no worries. Um, I was thinking about maybe put the second, uh, the second part. The second part, mm -hmm. exactly. Know. Yes, yes, that's it's it. Just moving that, the, mm -hmm. the second part to the front. Exactly. So, um, for example, in here it says, although he had a pain in the leg, he finished the marathon. As Ariel said, solo voy a cambiar el orden. He finished the marathon, <laughs> although he had a pain or he had pain in the leg. Y eso es todo. So, although, como va en medio, la coma ya no se necesita. So, you don't need it. El although solamente va en medio. Eso es en cuestión gramática, right? Like, cuando escriben. When you speak, mm -hmm. no hay mayor diferencia. You don't really know it. Solo pas pausamos a little bit. Um, wait, I have more examples here. Y luego me ayudan. Look at this. Um, it says, although, again, inicio con although. Um, pero en el ejercicio había más expresiones, no solamente although. Eh, en su material estaba even though. Although and even though son lo mismo. They are the same. So I can have although, a pesar que, or yo perfectamente lo cambio. Y en vez de although, I can use even though. Y es lo mismo. So although the folk run fast, he didn't catch the runner. Oh, in spite of running fast. So again, esto no es una oración completa, solo es una idea, una actividad. In spite of running fast, he didn't catch the road runner. Es lo mismo, pero utilizo expresiones diferentes, right? So, although or even though. Uh, yes. I'm a little confused of using in spite of because I don't catch um, like the meaning or the idea. Yes. Okay. Um, let's turn to Spanish for a moment. Uh, la primera, no sé si están relacionados con un runner. So, a runner aparece en los Looney Tunes. Y el sí. um, es el animalito que corre súper rápido, right? Que hace pipi. So, uh, mm -hmm. look at this. It says, a pesar que, although <coughs> the fault ran fast, um, so it didn't catch the runner. So, no logró alcanzar, right? Al corre camino. So, he didn't catch the road runner. Mm -hmm. La oración de abajo, in spite of, es exactamente lo mismo. Lo único que estoy haciéndola mucho más corta. Mm -hmm. A pesar que corrió rápido, in spite of running fast, he didn't catch the road runner. Es la misma idea, the same idea, pero con expresiones y gramática diferente. Pero queremos decir exactamente lo mismo. We want to say exactly the same. Como cuando usted dice, por ejemplo, a pesar, a pesar del clima, eh, el partido siguió, right? Mm -hmm. So, no tengo una oración completa. Because no digo a pesar que el clima estaba eh, frío, a pesar que el clima... No tengo una oración completa, solo una pequeña idea. So, yo puedo perfectamente utilizarla con in spite. So, in spite, a pesar del clima, in spite of the weather, y eso es todo. No necesito una oración con sujeto, verbo, complemento. So, in spite of the weather, uh, the flight continued, for example, continued, or um, was not delayed. The flight was not delayed. Was not canceled or delayed. All right, there we go. So, Um, in spite of, es el mismo a pesar. Now, si yo quiero utilizar esta idea con even though, or con although, ¿cómo lo agregaría? La única diferencia es que si yo utilizo although, acá yo necesito una oración completa, es decir, sujeto, verbo, complemento. In, in spite of, no, 
solamente in spite of the weather, a pesar del clima. Now, ayúdenme a completar esto. Vamos a usar la misma idea. We're going to use the same. The flight was not canceled. But ayúdenme a completarla. Help me complete this part. So, although, necesito una oración completa. La misma del weather, lo mismo del clima, pero ¿cómo lo completarían here? So, although me pide oraciones completas. So, oh, estoy hablando del clima, oldo de weather, or the song. Uh -huh. Pero acá necesito sujeto, verbo, complemento. Me faltan elementos todavía. Guys, ayúdenos. Uh, maybe also the weather was heavy. Ok, ya. Yeah. That would work. Podría funcionar. ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más? Give us some ideas. A pesar que el clima no era el mejor, although the weather was not the best, mm -hmm. although the weather, the weather was not appropriate, although the weather was not um, the right one or the appropriate one, mm -hmm. etc. Mm -hmm. so, es lo mismo, if you take a look, la misma idea. La diferencia es que in spite of es mucho más fácil de usar porque oldo, si uso oldo, necesito una oración. De hecho, dos oraciones completas. Sujeto, verbo, complemento. Sujeto, verbo, complemento. Mm, no sé si... Um, a little... Is that a little better? Ya vamos a practicarlo. We gotta practice this. Guys, preguntas, dudas. Questions, doubts. Hey, teacher, I don't understand. <laughs> Comments. Anything. Okay. Bye. Les presento más ejemplos y luego vamos a practicar a little bit. Then we practice and I'm sure que las preguntas van a surgir later. So, um, give me one sec. Let me see if I have more examples. No, I don't. Okay. So, again, Oldo me pide oraciones completas. En Oldo es lo mismo que even do. Veamos otra vez la lectura. Although the company invested a lot in motivational de development, comma, ahí terminó la primera oración, employees continue to lack enthusiasm. Oh, that's it. Um, even though motivation, uh, motivating our employees through the employee of the Mona World War for a couple of months, comma, ahí terminó la primera oración, motivating through peer-to-peer -peer stories of success may have a more meaningful impact. So, even though me pide oraciones completas. Even though, although, ellos son exactamente lo mismo. They are exactly the same thing. Um, so, so, um, okay. Um, so, um, in your material, en la siguiente página aparece. How to use subordinate clauses with adverbs of concession. It says, use adverbs like although, even though, while. Tenemos otro que es do, pero no lo vamos a utilizar todavía, aunque es super useful. To express concession. It expresses the idea that suggests us the opposite of the main part of the sentence. So, estamos hablando de un contraste de ideas, right? For example. While external factors play an important role in employee engagement, comma, there is proof that intrinsic factors are at almost importance. De hecho, no hay mayor eh, diferencia. Podemos utilizar while, although, and even though de la misma forma, eh, no hay problema. Y acá lo tenemos, more than one adverb is possible in some cases. So la mayoría se utilizan bastante similar. Um, ¿Cuándo es la diferencia? Cuando yo utilizo in spite of, que no necesito una oración. So, again, más de uno es posible. Más de even though, um, even though, although, or while, los tres se pueden usar sometimes de forma intercambiable. No hay mayor diferencia entre ellos, sino el hecho de que, que suena mejor, right? What sounds better? So, look at the examples here. It says, Although we are a small company, we sell almost 100 cars a month. Um, guys, ayúdenme con la dos. Help me with number two. ¿Cómo lo completamos? How can we complete it? 
Um, I think is also. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I mean, no hay problema si usamos cualquiera de los tres. Uh, for example, while they were warned against doing so, although they were warned, even though they were warned against doing so, the supervisor went ahead with the project. <coughs> so voy a utilizar cualquiera de los tres. <coughs> Number three, ¿cómo sonaría la tercera? Um, I put it like while. While he lacked experience. Ok, mientras que, um, a pesar que he lacked, he lacked experience in the field, he became a successful businessman. Exactly, I mean, las tres se pueden utilizar without big um, issue here. Um, so, con el resto es exactamente la misma idea. Guys, esto es parte de la plataforma 2, you know, um, just FYI. So, vamos a practicar ejercicios que no estén en la plataforma. Look at this. Here we have um, exercise using although. Tenemos even though. Vamos a agregar también acá dos expresiones más. Una es while, que es exactamente lo mismo. Y tenemos la otra que es in spite of. ¿Cuál va a ser la diferencia con in spite of? Que le voy a tener que quitar. In spite of. For example, number one. It was raining, we went to the beach. So quiero decir que a pesar de la lluvia, a pesar que estuvo lloviendo, fuimos a la playa. Uh, guys, si yo utilizo in spite of, le tengo que quitar toda la hora, todo el, el, el resto de información. El sujeto verbo no lo necesito. Necesito solo una idea general. ¿Cómo utilizarían in spite of, a pesar de? Como a pesar de la lluvia. ¿Cómo la armarían? Using in spite of. Mm -hmm. Utilizando in spite of, because los demás son bastante fáciles. So, in spite of, ¿cómo la armarían, guys? In spite of it was raining, um, we went to the beach. Already, solo que in spite of, ya no necesitamos toda la oración. Necesitamos solo una pequeña actividad. Como el ejemplo anterior, a pesar del dolor. In spite mm -hmm. of the pain, a pesar de las noticias. In spite of the news. So, ya no necesito la oración completa. So, Puedo crearla. Si quiero utilizar in spite of, a pesar de la lluvia, fuimos a la playa. In spite of the rain, we went to the beach. So, esta es la diferencia, eh, Jorge. Creo que me preguntaba Jorge por la diferencia entre ellos. In spite of, ya no necesita oración. Pero, while, even though, en oldo, ellos sí necesitan una oración completa. Guys, no sé si queda claro esta parte. Hola. In, in that moment, teacher, I was thinking in the word despite. Ah, despite. Ese es otro. <laughs> Pero tranquilo que si no vamos, yo no voy a hacer una mezcolanza aquí. Nos faltan varias. We are missing a couple. Nos falta do, nos falta despite. Nos faltan los que usamos para um, in, meanwhile. Eh, nos falta where, whereas, o nos faltan varios connectors. So, vamos primero con estos, guys. Let's go here uh, first con estos de acá. So, in spite of, solamente recuerden, no necesito toda la oración. Le puedo quitar un pedacito. Pero, eh, although, even though, and while, eso sí necesito la oración completa. So, ¿cómo completaría la primera? Perfectamente puedo intercambiarlos. And I can say, a pesar que estaba lloviendo, Uh, pero eso va a sonar raro. So, vamos a usar even though. So, even though. Even though. A pesar que estaba lloviendo. Even though it was raining. Raining. Ok. Y lo, lo demás es lo mismo, guys. Even though it was raining. Pero para el propósito de grammar, necesito una coma. Um, we went to the beach. What about the rest? Um, so, guys, intentemos completar el resto. No es necesario que los escriban. You don't need to write them. Eh, mentalmente pueden irlos haciendo. La idea es que su, um, su oído, su cerebro, también se acostumbre al sonido de las expresiones. 
So, even though, or though. Guys, tenemos cinco minutos para completarlos. Si necesitan escribirlos, feel free. Escríbanlos, no hay problema. Eh, si no, intenten crearlos en el aire, right? Y en cinco minutos los revisamos, guys. We check in the file.
Um, guys, did you complete them? Do you have them? Are you ready? So, were you able to complete a couple of them? Yes. Okay, give me one second. Can okay, hear you. Okay. So, uh, we have the first one, right? So, we can say, even though it was raining, although it was raining, we went to the beach. Number two, we were tired, we continued working. So, como completaron? How did you complete number two? We continue working, even though we were tired. Ah, very nice. Okay, so we continue working um, even though we were tired. Okay. Uh, is the same? Is the same? Even even though we were tired, mm -hmm. we continue working. Mm -hmm. so is that, yes. No. Ah, okay. Yes, yes, yes. Es exactamente lo mismo, solo que estamos cambiando term, el orden. But yes, el, or el orden de acá no va a alterar el producto. <laughs> So it is going to be the same. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, no can be lo que queremos decir. Number three, guys. ¿Quién te da la atrás? Who's got number three? Even, even so, even so. It was getting late. Okay. We decided to stay and talk a little longer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it sounds all right. So even though um, that's a possibility, even though it was getting late, we decided to stay and talk a little longer. Podemos usar although, although it was getting late. Podemos usar while it was getting late. So, aunque okay, guay, sonaría un poquito raro acá. But, all right, sounds okay. Guys, el siguiente, ¿qué tienen en la siguiente? What do you have in the next one? Uh, tienen, do you have the next one, number four? She has to drive 20 minutes to get to his house. She gave him a ride home, which was nice of her. Uh, number four. Mm -hmm. Even though she has to drive 20 mi minutes to get to his house, okay. she gave gave him a ride mm -hmm. home, which okay. was very nice of her. Very nice. Good job. Okay, so really, really good. Okay, um guys, do you have number five? Number five says, it was very cold. Uh, it was very cold out. We decided to go for a walk in the park. Intentemos utilizar otro conector para que vayamos practicando los two. We decided to go for a walk in the park, although it was very cold out. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. Any other? Teacher, other connect while and spite is spite of. Ah, podemos usar in spite of. Mm -hmm. Spite of a while and even yeah. though. Three connect. Yeah, we can use three connectors. Ah, okay. Well, actually, podemos usar más, but at the moment, yeah, <laughs> we're going to be using them. <laughs> Okay, so con la siguiente, ya yeah, we have even though it was called out, although it was called out. Si vamos a utilizar in spite of, ya no puedo utilizar um, it was called out. No puedo utilizar una oración completa porque in spite of no me lo permite. So con in spite of voy a utilizar probablemente a pesar del clima o a pesar del frío. In spite of the cold weather, ya no sujeto verbo complemento, we decided to go for a walk in the park. So, es la única diferencia con In Spiral, que ya no me pide oración completa. No se puede con oración completa, sino que tengo que reducirla para que tenga lógica. So, it makes a lot of sense. But, eh, guys, vamos a seguir trabajando con eso. 
Porque eso solamente la grammar practice, but now it's practical. We haven't practiced uh, the connectors, right? This is in the platform. This is in your platform. Eh, para que intentemos completar los ejercicios as well. Eh, guys, antes de irse, solamente eh, voy a, let me just go over attendance. Eh, Guadalupe está por acá. Ana Raquel. Ana, where are you? Yo creía, sí, Ana está acá. Ok, um, Ana, Ariela, uh, Claudia is here. Yes. Cristian is here too. Uh, Diana was here. Jorge, Mr. Rivas está por acá. Juan Carlos, guys, no right. Uh, no, no lo veo. Ok, uh, Mr. Palma, si sí lo vi hace unos momentos. Uh, Concepción, sí, a mí se no la vi por acá. Guadalupe, no, she was not here. Mr. Villada, Mr. Valle. Nelson, Norma, Olga, Celia was here, Susan too, Tatiana and Wendy too. Okay, okay guys, so uh, gracias a todos por la attendance. Thank you so much for your attendance, guys. Eh, solamente recordarles el uso de um, la plataforma. Um, mm -hmm. Hay algunos que me están apareciendo que nos falta la última eh, unidad que no le hemos trabajado todavía, so guys. Um, si tienen dificultades con algún ejercicio, ya um, agotaron todos los recursos, no les está funcionando, let me know, please. Um, creo que la mayoría, solamente me falta el examen final. Sí, me falta el examen final, most. Solo veo el de Raquel, veo el de Jorge, eh, veo el de Mr. Palma, veo el de Mario, Norma tú los demás guys me falta todavía el examen final para irles promediando también, right? Um, gracias guys, thank you so much everybody for your attendance. Nos vemos el día de mañana. I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Have an amazing thank night, guys. Thank you. Be very gracias. Yes, yes, solo es la voz de niño que ando. Anyways, it's so Ah, oh, mi Susan me escribió, perdón, pensé sí. que le había contestado. Era de la unidad, ¿verdad? Sí, sí. Eh, completó la uno, la dos. Es que uh, yo, bueno, hice un montón, la verdad hice un montón porque no sabía si, si me estaban contando o no me estaban contando porque yo, o sea, estaba segura que les había dado enviar a las que había podido hacer, ¿verdad? Ah, ok. En todo okay. caso, he dejado como tres que no he hecho. Eh, la 1.3, creo yo, 1. unas 3, 4 lecciones que no pude completar porque no me dio la cabeza para hacerlo. Entonces, okay. yo le decía a la consulta si ya le aparecía que había completado por lo menos un porcentaje, ¿verdad? Porque he, llegado, he llegado hasta la unit 4.3, por ejemplo. Um, si sí, ahorita le digo, me parece de su record. Eh, sí, ya me parece diferente la unidad 1, me parecen 80, uh -huh. la 2 me parecen 90, la 3 está al 100, la 4 ya me parecen 80. Creo que la primera era la que le comentaba que me nos aparecía como uh -huh. bajita, pero quizás por eso, right Porque uh -huh. quizás se le quedaron ahí las respuestas sí. y no las envió. Creo que solo me falta... Eh, el midterm creería que me hace falta quizás un ejercicio porque lo está marcando yeah, ahorita yeah. en 75. Uh -huh. Y me falta el examen final, que el examen final es el de los que vale más. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So, okay. Pero sí, sí, ya, ya me marca, ya, ya ah, cambia el porcentaje. Uh -huh. Ah, pues voy a seguir haciendo. No sé hasta qué unidad se llega, pero... Mm, solo le falta el final. So, vaya la unidad, después de la unidad número 4, Va a aparecer el examen final. Ese es el que vale más y ese ah, es el que le da como sí. el, la nota, el que le sube. Sí. So, trabaja en eso. En lo demás creería que podemos tener un passing score solo con el último. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So, we can sí. work on that. Eh, pero sí, sorry, no le contesté, pero no, vi su no, mensaje no, 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 no. y pensé que le había contestado. <risa> pero sí, mis, ya, está, ya, ya parece ah, que vale. Vale. Thank you. Eh, the lost. Thanks, well.
What do you mean? De que ella comparta las, las respuestas que le faltan, o sea, las, las preguntas que le faltan. Ah, claro, claro. Claro, si, si en alguna no tienen como mucha duda, claro, guys, compártanlo, share it, y entre todos se pueden ayudar. A veces uh -huh. la respuesta está bien, pero a veces es un punto, es una coma, es un espacio, es algo tan mínimo sí, que nos da dolor sí, de bien, cabeza. Claro. Uh -huh. La vez pasada Wendy me ayudó con unas, porque yo no entendía definitivamente, y yo creo que me explicó, y, y volví a caer en la, en la misma lección que quizás no le di a enviar, pero yo ni para atrás ni para adelante, yo no sé cómo era la respuesta de esa. Ah, ok. A veces también lo que nos está marcando mal es cuando hay apóstrofes, cuando hay contracciones, uh -huh. pero eh, para contracciones usamos la misma técnica de la vez anterior. Copien y peguen lo mismo que está arriba, right, para que uh -huh. lo pongan ahí. Y no les afecte, porque los apóstrofes sí es un dolor de cabeza enorme. Pero, yeah, si tiene una que la tiene bien, que usted considera que está bien, pero no se les está tomando, eh, compártanla la right y la revisamos tomorrow. We can check tomorrow uh -huh. para que ya la plataforma les quede terminada, right? Gracias, okay. chicos. Thank you so much. Yeah, Nos vemos see. el día de mañana. Okay. You're welcome. Bye, guys. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Buenas noches. Have a good night. Bye-bye.